Why are you gay? Jeff. 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 My name is Jeff. Hello, Barney Badger Army, and welcome to today's comedy news. Now, this is a bit of a different comedy news because obviously I want to talk about something that's very current and very interesting. Now, you guys, remember, I'm not exactly what you call a royalist. But I'm not exactly the other way either. So I have some interesting points on last night's coronavirus chat with the Queen. Now, obviously, bearing in mind, once again, not a royalist. So, you know, I thought what she was saying was very inspiring and very interesting. And there's lots of different things that she mentioned about old school Britain, we'll meet again, we'll be able to do this, we'll pull through this, we'll get through it, you know, we're going to do it, British spirit, you know, the Covid ain't going to like it when we're done, and that's what the nation needed to hear. Now, I feel it really did work, it really did help us, it uplifted me, it made me realise being in quarantine, staying at home, trying not to bother all the services, trying not to, you know, go too far out my catchment area, if you will, is actually helping the UK. And of course, there are people out there that didn't like the speech, and I want to know why. Now, listen here, I'm going to repeat it again, third time's a charm, I'm not a royalist, but the things that she was saying are fantastic, and are really interesting, how they did the setup, how they kept her safe, how they obviously kept the camera people safe, the, the people in the BBC or whatever company did it, kept them safe too, and they managed to do it with social distancing. And that must have been very hard for her. She's been for a hard time. Her husband's been ill. There's all the stuff with all the rest of the family issues. And then they're having to deal with this virus stuff. So, and then she's having to come on and chat to the nation about all these different things, trying to G us all up, and it's great. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really interesting, and I thought it really helped the country and the big positive attitude. Everyone's talking about negative things to do with this virus. She was saying, you know, it's going to bring us all back together. You know, it's going to make the UK great again once we're done. I think it's fantastic. But there are other people there that go, oh, it's the Queen's speech, wasn't it? Oh, it's a bit crap. Do we like it? You know, she's all up her own arse in her ivory tower, right? Yeah, because she's the bloody queen. Where, you know, she has to be protected. There are these things called, you know, royals. And that's obviously what the, the UK is supposedly built on. And obviously they bring in tourist money and all that sort of thing and help the economy and all that jazz. That's not happening at the minute. Mostly, I guess. So, come on. They're trying their best to gee us all up and help the country. You know, I'm bored of Boris, to be honest, waffling on from his hospital bed. Hope he gets better soon. But, you know, I think it was quite refreshing to hear a new voice and something interesting and a new viewpoint on the situation. But people seem to be naysaying it, saying, oh, you know, she's been through a hard time recently, you know. <laughs> There's not many good things happening with her environment, you know. What with all uh, Prince Philip being uh, tested positive for Corona, there's all the stuff with Harry and all that sort of thing, and all the different things that are going on, you know, in the dirt sheets, and they make it worse, don't they, anyway? But you get what I mean, it's really bad. Why would you slag her off? I want to know. Because the thing is, if someone tries to do something good, there are two lots of people, aren't there? There are people that are going to respond well to it, and go, actually, yeah, you're right, Mom. It's fantastic. It's great. Really interesting the way she did it. And they kept everyone safe. So there was no sort of like, you can't argue that that someone could have got hurt whilst doing it and things like that. Because they put special um, procedures in place. Like the guy was all dressed up in the, the mask and all the special outfit and all that sort of thing. So 
and they kept safe distancing and they worked out a plan how to do it all. So everyone was kept safe. So you can't argue with me that it actually endangered people's health because it didn't. They followed appropriate uh, up-to-date protocol. Might have changed by now. But who knows? So there you go. They followed the appropriate protocol. They needed to give out an uplifting message to the nation and they did. But yet people, of course, slagged it off. And I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you think it was a good thing that the Queen chatted and addressed the nation in that manner? Which is great, you know, because we haven't experienced anything like this since the war. And I've mentioned that loads, noob, I know. But what are your thoughts? Did you think it helped? Or were you put down by it? Did you feel that it was like a bit derogatory? I'd love to know, because I think it helped me and made me feel like I was doing the right thing. And I will see my friends and family again soon. And everything will work out fine, as long as the nation looks after itself. Stop going out doing raves in parks, you melons! Right, here we go. So, thank you very much for watching. Look after yourselves, keep safe, keep well. Stop messing about, otherwise the Daleks will blow off your heads. Indeed, with a big laser. If you mess about and don't exercise too much, only go out for an hour and look after yourself. And remember, wash your hands. Look after yourselves, guys. See you next time for the next comedy news. I'd love to know your thoughts on the situation. Bye. Mr. Slender, yes. Bring me a dream. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. That I've ever seen. Bum, 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 bum. Please move to your magic dream. Mr. Slendy, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum.